Banned Books Week begins today. The annual event advocates for the freedom to read by highlighting attempts to ban books. Rockford Public Library kicked off the week with a special presentation. Dave Pedersen of Mays Books curated a collection of vintage books that have faced historical bans or challenges. Today, he walked visitors through the exhibit. It included titles like Howl and Tropic of Cancer. Pedersen says the discussion comes at an important time. Well, uh, given kind of the current political climate, we're talking more about books being banned. We're talking about more about censorship. So it's important, number one, to demonstrate that these books exist, that this is a real thing that happened. And number two, to kind of talk through talking points on why censorship is bad for this country and why we need uh, less banned books and more understanding of uh, literature. Penn America says books removed from school shelves from 2023 to 24 tripled to more than 10,000. Most were pulled in Florida and Iowa.